All right, double dailies next day. We're going to talk about Amelia Rules. If, again, I don't know I did this already for a double daily even, but uh, we're going to talk about Jimmy Gownley's uh, Amelia Rules comic book series, story line series, from the early 2000s. And I only found out about this comic book series from him storyline series since like a year or two ago. I was like, there was multiple characters at the time that I read, comic book, no, cartoon characters at the time that were already called Amelia. Notably one from Infinity Train, from the, the one, the antagonist from the first season. Uh, that Tulip and, uh, uh, one, one and, uh, 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 Atticus are fighting against. And then they have Amelia show up in other versions, other seasons later on. Especially the, at least the second season that they have, uh, no, second and third? No, she's mentioned in the second season and she's definitely around in the third season. And then, uh, so the Amelia, the Amelia character from the plot, the plot stuff. I'm not, it's not really so much of a spoiler to mention her that she's in the show because it should be obvious at this point, even especially when and then halfway through the running necessary. Uh, as a slide, if you guys don't know, Infinity Train was supposed to have eight seasons instead of four, but they had issues with the um, corporate stuff. I guess no, it's it's deep, it runs deeper than that. It's not just AP, HBO Max. It's uh, it's other stuff. It's like it's it's really deep. It's really unfortunate, but you know. That's one of the Amelia characters was from Infinity Train, and then there was the Amelia character from uh, Wallace the Brave from your whoever has these on in their in their comic strips lately in their newspaper or even online whatever it's the historical stuff. Like I don't know if it's like some some magazines or online uh, hostings don't always have it, but someone will do. So so the Amelia from uh, both Amelia from Wallace the Brave, Amelia from Infinity Train are pretty cool characters. But the Amelia I'm talking about is Amelia McBride from Amelia Rules. And she's a fantastic character. Like, her story and her comic series from Jimmy Gownley. And Jim, even Jimmy Gownley's pretty cool guy himself. Like he, a pretty, very uh, benevolent man. But I, I, I can get into him later if I can. But, I just, uh, but Amelia is um, a tween in the story up until maybe a teenage life at the point. So it, goes, it runs from her being ages 9 through, I think, 14, 15, 13. Uh, she slightly starts at 9 from the World's Gone Crazy and there's other volumes in the series. There's about 7 to 8 books with or without including the uh, the, the uh, specials and the holiday ones. Um, so that might be like 7 total or 8 total for the collection. The collection might have a holiday or a special. Or something, but yeah. There's a collection of, on Amazon since 2016 that had all the books in, in one lingo. And then there's the individual books as well and, and since updates in 2016. But the last book in the series was her permanent record in 2012. So she's so Jimmy has been making the series since like 2001, up until 2012, and then continued indefinitely postponed the series until he made an update on Twitter saying there's a reason I have my avatar as the Amelia Rose character, but I'll get to that maybe someday. But uh, I've 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 had the Amelia Rose character for as my avatar on Twitter for a while, but quite a while of months. But like that was, that was based on his uh his update picture on the a potential. Uh, the hashtag the hashtag was Amelia still rules and he made the update a year ago or this year and then uh, last year or this year and it was like uh, that's fantastic like, he actually uh, teased that he was going to either come back to the series or like, he was going to at least add something else to f polish off what he had uh, finalized since 10 years prior so you know almost 10 years prior but this series is uh, for basically grade schoolers actually more particularly elementary schoolers like elementary middle school uh, children particularly girls i guess like in the mile pony fetches magic generation 4 kind of space i guess you could say but uh even that was a like, had to be a huge fandom this particularly emily rolls did not unfortunately have a big fandom but there were people who uh concurs the series very dearly to them they find it very heartwarming to have a uh, educational if not entertaining way to approach these issues because emily rolls goes through a lot of uh life story issues and co conflicts and stuff like that it's a very funny story too sometimes but like but it does focus on all these issues amidst the comedy and so it's a very it's a very th uh, it's a thriller in the sense of comic books and it's like it's like it's like comic books but king of the hill it's like <laughs> it's like i'm making that comic reference or whatever but uh it's like a. it is like a superhero world aspectual in a normal world so it's like it's got that entertainment grasp of things but it's also got to make sure that you know how to handle these issues in your own life and that you can relate to them without taking them too seriously so Amelia Rules Amelia McBride there are some characters I remember a little bit more without even reading the series right away I, I mean I just downloaded the simple on Kindle I started reading a little bit through it but I could easily get the $5 version for uh, a little slightly less paid for than the, the payback or the library edition 
but uh, if I bought the individual uh, ebook e versions, but I could do that and it wouldn't be a big deal. But I have uh, other things. I try to negotiate with my family how I pay for these things nowadays. That's a bit of my personal life there, but it's not too personal for me. But you know, just how to negotiate that if I can, even if it's only for only four nine nine, but for the first book. But you know, I was hoping it's worth reading. So this is a grade three three through five book series, but it's like it's so wonderful it's timeless like any age could read this book and, and relate to it and, and you find very much use for it. entertainment and educational wise it's like it's life story stuff it's a uh, stuff, stuff that's going down right my down my alley it's like this, I've, I've actually read from some of the <laughs> the cheapskate uh, images i read of this book some of the sections like where it's talking about like the uh divorce the uh, moving from the city to the suburbs or the rules whatever uh yeah it's from like a so like amelia moves from new york to uh uh, a, a smaller town Pennsylvania and uh and she meets a few other friends uh, Tanner is the uh, the uh, aunt I think and then there's a uh, Ron Ron Ronnie and uh uh, p uh pajama boy pajama man pajama man yeah and there's all these characters I, I, there's quite a bit there's not a lot of content about this on, on online but like so the hints of the fans being a little smaller than I expected but like they even tease like this um some people try to make sure that if there was gonna be a live action movie this would be like they had like a whole list of how all the character, characters that should act as these uh cartoon characters and that was pretty cool and they, there are some other th things i've seen online about uh, this uh, series um bits of it every once in a while not always not, not always but still there apparently it's it's nice but it's just uh you know and i think I, I was in it like, alongside the Himiko and Naba with the, from the ones within anime uh, introspective I did earlier in the months. I was going to do like a Amelia McBride version for a cartoon like this or Hill Forth from Sally Forth, uh, the cartoon strip. Uh, you could find those on another online website or otherwise. Otherwise, like they have, they have uh, some other sites for that, but that's with Sally Forth. With Amelia Rules, it's like, um, I love this series. It's like, I already love it. I read like sample of like nine pages and it was really, really good. It's just, I already know I'm gonna get used to this pretty well. I, I like a lot of the style, the uh, storytelling, and I just uh, I know I'm gonna really enjoy it throughout the process and, and maybe pace it out a little slower so I don't get sad towards the end, even if there's gonna be more after this the 2012 edition of her permanent record. But with Amelia Rules, you know the I'm gonna say something a little bit more personal than that, but it's not too personal. I actually wanted to do the orchestral orchestral score for a potential like. Emilio, Emilio Rules claymation, like not even like something that's too uh, pr not even it didn't have to even be on a big scale, but like I could tell Jimmy about that <laughs> if I was down for that. But either either the music or the claim, the animation of it, or or some of the scripting, I guess I don't know. Well, I, I don't know if the scripting would be up to me because that's it's this Jimmy story, but I don't know. Like either the music or the claymation part of it, or the animation in particular. I don't know how to do that because I'm a cartoonist and claymation animator myself. I'll be a little bit of an X side of that because it's going in and out every once in a while but I did want to be a part of something bigger with Amelia Rule so that I knew that even if just enjoying the story would be enough for my own life if I had more involvement with it it would be pretty amazing but uh Jimmy was already in invested in some kind of additional regard to Amelia Rules whether it means continuing the series or like uh that's what it suggests from his uh, teaser but like kind of like the 9 teaser for 2017 Jesus <laughs> Jane Acker's 9 uh Dude, like, Nine and Emilio Rolls are some of the most underrated stuff, I swear. Even Nine has a bigger fandom than Emilio Rolls in a sense, but, you know, unfortunately. But even fortunately, though, that would be true, at least, if anything. Because Nine does have a bit of a cult falling idealism for it. But Emilio Rolls is still pretty impressive even then, so. But Emilio Rolls, I just, uh... If I had to be specific, I like some of the stories that they tell, like the, uh... Uh... Some of the hard lessons you learn from the story. The, uh... Some of the friends that Amelia loses, some of the friends that he, he has to get used to. Uh, I don't know if I can. T I don't know if I can reveal certain spoilerific things in this story. Ten well, Tanner is a character in the story, but I can't say much about that. <laughs> the aunt, but Aunt Tanner, but yeah, I mean not right now, but I, I think so. You know what I mean, but you know, uh, it's like um, it's a blissful like experience. It's like if you don't have to take the story too seriously, even as, as, as particularly with the comedy. You already kind of know what I mean. Like, it's a very complete experience. The aesthetic, compared to, like, Himiko Naba, even Amelia McBride is a very cynical character herself. Tomboyish, uh, very feminine and tomboyish at the same time kind of character. Very fantastic. Her friends are fantastic. Her story's fantastic. The comic story, comic book series and itself is fantastic. And Jimmy Gallin, the cartoonist behind this, is a very fantastic person. I accept you, Tony. 
Remember that there's nothing more beautiful than desperation. Remember there's nothing more devastating than pretending not to care.